Even the mountain makes their Hey, you! 
David. How can he be infected from the start? Um, that's just how this game is. Uh, Noah seventy six. Um, like you have you have to be quick, or as quick as you can be. So it creates a different kind of challenge. How are you doing today, Noah? That's the one. Is this my favorite? Um, no, it's not. It's not my favorite, but um, but I'm starting to like it a lot more now. I think it's. Uh, it's one of the few Resident Evil games that uh, a lot of people haven't played. It's actually really good. It's hard. And it's not perfect, but it's really good. I'm, uh... I'm hanging in there. Um, have like a lot of personal problems going on these days, but uh, I'm hanging in there. Just trying. You have to make sure you read when you play this. You got to make sure you read all the files, unless you're gonna run around in circles in this game. And when you play as a guy, you have to play faster. Those guys get infected faster than the women in this game. Yeah. That works. Yeah, thanks, Noah. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm trying to stream as often as I can. Um, Thanks to a general, it was thanks to a donation that I was able to get this game. Um, very, very nice viewer. Surprised he's not on today. I'm sure you some free time. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, I mean, this game play, handles pretty well. It's um, I've only I've only recently beat the first outbreak. Because years ago, I never got to beat it. Um, roughly an hour on average. Um, if you're if you're if you're, but um, but if you're like, if you have no idea what you're doing, then you probably you might die a few times, especially if you play as a guy. Um, even on easy, because if you have no idea what you're doing, you're just gonna run around in circles and. 
until you get infected and die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There are bar boss battles, um, but it, each scenario. Um, Each scenario like handles like boss battles differently. Like some scenarios, you won't have to fight a boss; you'll just have to fight a horde. For example, but this scenario has a boss. That's the key I want. Yeah, when you're starting off in this game, you want to you wanna play on easy, don't play on normal. You know, you're going to get your ass kicked if you don't know what you're doing. My favorite is Resident Evil 4. But, uh, next... But my second favorite is the remake, the GameCube remake of the original Resident Evil. So yeah, people, if I say my favorite is Resident Evil 4, people think that I only like the new ones, but now I like both the new and the old. I mean, if I didn't like the old ones, then I wouldn't be playing this. <laughs> back to this room later. Oh yeah. Did Noah, did you hear about the Did you hear that the remake Did you hear that the remake is getting remastered? For the PS4, Xbox One, 360, PS3, and PC? It's about damn time, you know? It's about time. Oh, I don't want to go in that room. Oh, yeah. You see, and that's what I'm... I mean, I regularly, um, I try to stream the remake on GameCube that I own as often as possible. Well, that really depends on how it sells, Noah. I mean, here was the problem to begin with, of why, why we went from, uh, from Remake Zero, Outbreak, and then 4. Um, people just weren't buying enough of these old ones, you know, they're just... Oh yeah, I mean it's it's really great news, but um, it'll be even better news if the game sells well. Well, well, that's the thing. The outbreak games, as good as the, these outbreaks, as good as these outbreak games were, they did not sell well. Time, you know, and it wasn't just because they were ahead of their time, you know, just that um, people were actually getting bored of the franchise, believe it or not. Now, even some reviewers complained the franchise was getting stale. Which isn't really a fair, you know, uh, Fair critique if you want all the sequels to be just like Resident Evil 2. I mean. I'm 
I'm hoping that it sells a lot though. And 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 neither and neither was at the time neither was Zero Remake. Uh, I know at the time uh, some people, as much as some people loved Remake, a lot of other people complained that it was too hard. That they don't they didn't like the yet turn the zombies. You know. But yeah, and zero people complained about the inventory system. They complained that they're like, oh, this again. You know, even if it was on the GameCube, people still uh, would have found reason not to like it. But I'm hopeful, I am hopeful that the remake sells well. It needs to. I mean, more than anything, you know, we gotta vote. We, you gotta vote with your wallets, you know. Yeah, R Resident Evil 4 is amazing. If, if anything, I don't want to. I don't. I don't care if it doesn't. If the franchise doesn't go all the way back to like the original, I just. As long as the games are as good as remake and four, then I'll, I'm all there. Yeah. Yeah, I know 5 and 6 weren't as good as 4, but, um... They had, they had some good ideas that, um, that, that could be integrated. Like Melee, for example, you know? Um, like, this game actually incorporates Melee. I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, they were over the top, but, you know... You gotta take some of the good ideas that you learned from sequels and put them into future sequels. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know, right? You know, zombies don't make a Resident Evil game good. Just a good game makes a good game, you know? You want to know an interesting fact about uh, this game, Noah? The Outbreak series? Want to know something very interesting? Now, not a lot of people know this. Oh, hey, Psycho Bunny. Um, this game, this game that I'm playing right right now, Outbreak File Number Two, and and their and the first Outbreak. The creative director of these games also directed Resident Evil Six. I'm not making that up. I mean, look at the credits. How are you doing today, Psycho Bunny? But yeah, that's um... I mean, that to me is like a really neat fact about, fact about the franchise, I mean... I mean, just because Shinji Mikami wasn't, like, left after 4 doesn't mean that, um, that other people didn't stick around to make the, the future games, you know? Like, a lot of people, a lot of the old team stuck around, you know? So yeah, I thought, uh, I thought it was so fascinating that the...
Eerie, dark, and twisted. Well, that's the thing, Noah. Eerie, dark, and twisted doesn't always sell very well. Like it, in the movies, people like act, people like action. That that makes the most money. Horror movies. Um, Horror movies don't make as much money, so horror movies need to be cheaper to make, you know? But as much as I hate those Resident Evil movies, they make a lot of money. It's sad, but they do. Uh, Oh yeah, Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, Dark Knight is one of the rare exceptions. God, why can't I use these? Oh yeah, because they're so damn cheap to make. They're so damn cheap and that's what's popular in horror. If it's cheap to make and it's popular... It's gonna get sequels. It's gonna get a ton of sequels. Well, well, even in the original, I think, um, even in the remake, uh, the dialogue was better, but uh, the storytelling was kind of was still pretty cheesy. So I think, um, I don't know when I when I say cheesy, I think um, just parts parts of the you know the atmosphere is there for the re for RE one the remake the atmosphere is there just um you know just um the Resident Evil games have a, like a level of cheesiness you know they're kind of like fun. While um, David, let's move. While Silent Hill is uh, hey you, could be it. Yeah, I've read the books. I thought the books were okay. I didn't. Wasn't really that into the books. Oh, that's right now. Oh, no, I couldn't say for sure. Like. Yeah, exactly, you know. I mean, I mean, the problem is adapting something. I mean, some stuff just doesn't translate well, like uh, as a screenplay, because a lot of the uh, screenplays rely on a lot of like heavy dialogue, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, you know, to have like a traditional have a traditional pacing and that's that, that and recapturing the spirit of a, of a game in a movie just doesn't really doesn't really work very well more often than not because games tend to be a little bit more especially these ones tend to be a little bit more solitary the storytelling is very dialed back Whereas a movie, uh, the movies have to be um, heavy on dialogue. Yeah, Psycho Bunny, I have that archived on my stream. So if you missed that one, you could you could check out my past archives. Uh, by the way, thanks to Twitch's idiotic new policies, uh, my archives will only last two weeks. So unless I make a YouTube page to upload those archives, so they last longer, then. 
check them out while you can. My uh, last archive, I beat some wild things and uh, desperate times. So, if you're interested, check that one out. Check those two out. I mean. But yeah, like writing a good a good script is very difficult, you know. Take the YouTube. I'll I'll think about it, you know. I mean, I wanted I want to personally watch rewatch my own streams. I have this thing about hearing myself talk. Unless I rehearse something. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah I, sh I probably should make the YouTube anyway. So the archives are last. I don't think I get very many views, but hey, as long as they're there, you know. Here's a great thing that this game did. Moving while shooting. You might recognize that feature in, in Resident Evil 6. David. Yeah, just because hey, the game... You. Um, isn't what you wanted it to be, it doesn't mean that it didn't do some, some good things, you know. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I give props to Five for like being able to handle the co-op. You know, I mean, yeah. And this game was actually the first was actually the first to do co-op. You know, just that it was ahead of its time, and it just didn't really have the audience. You know. I mean, people didn't want Outbreak, you know, they wanted Resident Evil 2 again. And again, and again, and again, and again. You, know, you make something good and people want to repeat it over again. Um, I think there's someone that was like trying to like go. Uh... Oh, by the way, I actually have a YouTube channel where I do editorials like um, where I used to, which on my computer. Forgot to do that. Decided to have problems with the sound. Um, But anyway, someone once told me, hey Echo, um, you already done with your stream, Echo? What, which are you game would I think make the best theory and dark movie? Um, God, there's so many games. I'm probably in the minority here, but I would, since the, uh, I would say Rizzy was zero would make a good theory and dark story, because, um, a lot of people overlook zero. I mean, zero is really good. If not, different. Um, like, zero had, had a pretty grim story about revenge story. I mean, uh, the main, not to give anything away, but the main villain, 
you know, is out for revenge. I mean, just a awful thing ha happened to him. And you have this um, rookie police officer and this convict, you know, just trying to survive together. I think, I think that might be make a better basis for a movie. To me, at least, in my opinion. You know, because 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 the majority of the time, uh, Rebecca and Billy are together. You know, depending on how you play, but. Um, That room is a poison room. It's a trap, don't go in there. Yeah, Deco. Echo, how did the rest of the stream go? Yeah, I think, um... But yeah, there's, um... But yeah, writing the script uh, based on a zero, you know, it, it will just have to be, it will need a lot of work, you know, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, I saw that echo. That was pretty awesome. Like you had like ten people watching. You know, and that's and that should be a good thing. I mean, more people need to see. I mean, I mean, I hear everyone talking about RE2. I see RE2, Resident Evil 2 streamed a lot. You know, people always talk about it. Resident Evil 2 is the best. Resident Evil 2 is the best. But you know what? But you know what? You're yeah, it's a, it's a great game. It's a fantastic game, but you're overlooking these other great Resident Evil games. You know, the remake, Zero, Code Veronica, or even three sometimes. You know, I think um, we need to spread the word about the se about these older sequels. You know, because remember there were six games, six old school Resident Evil games that came out, including the, these two Outbreak games that came out in after two. So we gotta spread the word, you know. Whether it be on Twitch or YouTube, tell people, you know, you gotta check these games out, you know. I did. I admit, back then, I didn't really give uh, Outbreak much of a chance, you know. Well, mostly because my PS2, what, what, mostly because the long load times got on my nerves, and and sometimes the game would crash. Always read all the files. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel is hilarious. I, I like Jimmy Kimmel. But yeah, Noah, um... Why would a... I'm curious, uh, why would Code Veronica be good for, like, a movie? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna do, disagree with you. I'm like, uh, I'm like wondering, like, like how you feel about uh, Code Veronica as a movie. Hey! Oh, oh. Yeah, screw it. Is that what I really liked about Code Veronica? It just had it had such great atmosphere, great music. Um, all right, no problem, Echo. No problem.
Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, the dark goes there. Fair enough. You no, know, it's like I see what you mean. Like it's because it's a rescue, kind of a sort of a rescue story. Um. You, you don't know. I think. Um, no, you've seen the you've seen the animated oh God. You've seen the animated Resident Evil movies, right? The uh, the ones in CG. Uh, both starring Leon. Um, Resident Evil uh, Damnation and Resident Evil um, Degeneration. Okay, now let's throw down the one. I think I think that will be the like I'd rather not see live action. I'd rather see more like animated like Resident Evil movies like that. You know, I think that might be might be a better fit because if they're animated, they can do a lot more with the creature design. You know. Whereas live action, you have to worry about budget, special effects, you know. But in a CG, you know, you can act, you could create it within the world. You know, I would, I would love to see like maybe a Code Veronica animated movie. That would be pretty cool. What you have to do here is you kind of have to run around and let the train come. See, with the Outbreak games, there's very specific things that you have to do in order to trigger events. Very specific things. Not unlike the other Resident Evil games. Yeah. Of course, they they should make an animated movie as zero. You know, make make like a like a like I think a Capcom should do more to promote zero because I would love to see a zero remastered. Um, this has to be the right way. Oh, fine. There you go. Poison me. There we go. Oh god. You just better grab the shotgun. It better grab that machine gun.
You got some sushi. Where'd you, where'd you get sushi, um, Echo? Um, David. Hey. We trying to have either. So I'll take that. Hey you. Dave. Hey. Come on. <laughs> Hey, you. David. Hey! I haven't had sushi in a long while. I, I, I mean, I really like sushi because um, I, I don't feel like all, like, you know, sick and bloated after I eat it. You know, I feel... Fills you up without making you feel like crap. Really need this stuff done, but uh, okay. Oh man, am I the one to get grabbed? Actually, you know, Psycho Bunny. Not all sushi is raw. Not all sushi is raw fish. You know, there's also crab. And you know, there's also a vegetarian alternatives at sushi places. I mean, it's not all. I mean, even McDonald's gives you like a not not meat alternative. Although I can't say they're No wait, I wasn't playing oh god I'm leaving. Let's move. Come on. Ray, come on! Stop bleeding! Thank you. God. Come on, guys, let's go save Alyssa. You know, how cool would it have been to play this online? And one of the players playing online was the one to get captured, and then they had to fight off the boss for a bit. Here's the boss. Better be hitting it. You have to watch out for that attack.
Oh, at least I found a spot where I can't get hit. See, when you see him flinch, oh god. Really? Yes! But to be fair, I'm playing on easy. Come on guys, let's go. Gotta What's a cheesy line sometimes people say? We gotta train the catch. Ladies and gentlemen, the train will be departing shortly. After the meeting the next train should stand on the yellow line. Repeat. The train will be departing shortly. After the meeting the next train. All this plate there haven't got poison once. Pretty good. Repeat. The train will be departing shortly. Means I'm getting better at it at least. I guess it doesn't matter if you wait for them or not. I mean, the cutscene will still play out the same. Hot chili peppers. I never liked onions. I don't know. Well, actually, I do like onion rings. I know it's so stupid. I say I don't like onions, but I like onion rings. I don't know. I guess sometimes I prefer vegetables, like fried stuff. Why didn't I skip the skate on it? Too late. Oh, David. Okay, something is weird. Last time I just wanted to train it. That was it. There wasn't even a timer. So, what's, so, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Last time you hit the boss, you got on the train, that's, that's it. Do I have an outbreak stick house in my area? I think I do, I don't think, but I never actually ate eaten out of an outback. Just let me on the train. What is that? There's an item there. Demolition tower. I 
something that's very, very weird. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't eaten at an Outback Steakhouse. I don't know. There's a lot of restaurant restaurants in my area that I haven't eaten at. No I'm watching get poisoned. Well, do you at least need time to figure out where I need to go in this stupid thing? There's no pause button in this game, that's uh, one of the worst game voices. Oh, that sucks. Meat poisoning. Oh, what was was your meat was your meat undercooked, Noah? Get the hell off me. So you have to maybe do that, you maybe do something stupid. Just, uh, Really? Now that's so dumb the train left on. What kind of food poisoning was it, Noah? I mean, was it just full of meats? Was it... Oh, please don't poison me. Oh. 
Out of both ends? Ooh. More of these things. Oi. They're there to make your life hard. And watch, they probably poison the other characters too. Oh, just get off of me. See, you can't screw around too much in this game, even on easy. Like, this game will give you a, a big middle finger if you do. Oh yeah, definitely shut the. I'm fine, you know. This is probably almost done. Probably almost done. That was the final boss. I don't know if that, that's poison or not. Nope. Amazing aiming right at it, I'm not even aiming it. God, this is on an easy. Imagine playing this on normal. Actually, there's a very hard mode. Imagine playing this on very hard. To be fair, the hunters are pretty guaranteed. I mean, they'll take away your progress just with one decapitation. And you see, you have to, have to do run all the way over here just because, all because I missed the train. Bring this back to the. They want to remaster this. They gotta fix the aiming in this game. Oh no! After this, you. 
After this, uh, poison bugs are gonna be the least are gonna be the least annoying enemy. You'll see. Yeah. Now I kind of Now I kind of wish I hadn't played as David. Cuz guys get infected faster in this game. That's right because I moved the elevator. Survival horror, my friend. Survival horror. So what you want to come back? Wait. Just remember what you want to come back. What game you want to come back? Survival or see you can't push it. Even if you're a big strong map. Not happen. That's just fantastic. Words. Now, what I think I need to do, that, you know, part of me wishes that I could die just so I could do this over again, and uh, and and this time catch the train. I don't want to kill that bug because I'm getting sick of that noise. Yeah, guys, if you play this and you miss the train, um, it should make you do a whole other puzzle. You can't fight off a little bug. Thank you. 
It's like the game. It's like this game gives you a smack on the head. You didn't do it right. It's and smacks you upside the head and forces you to do something even more tedious. I don't want a gun, I just want to escape. Although, it would be nice if you just let me use the elevator to get out. Oh, and you know what? What's what's even dumber? It's like I don't think the map is even telling me give me much information to go off. Like what's down there? There's absolutely nothing. Except for a shotgun. Save for a shotgun. David, let's move. There's absolutely nothing. There's nothing up there. It's a whole big circle. Waste your time. And even if you're a guy, you can't push that box. And by the way, the AI is not going to help you. The AI is not going to help you push any boxes. Trust me, I tried. I tried. I tried yelling, "Help me! Help me! Help me!" No, the AI is not going to do that for you. They're too stupid to do it. They'll say, "Sorry, dude, you're on your own." Just let me die so I can just do this over again, catch the train. It's, it's better than having to do this. I'd rather I'd rather do this all over again. Fight the bug. And get the hell out, get out the train and end this level. I'd honestly rather do that. It just wants to make things even more tedious and confusing. When I practice everything up to the train escape. No. That item right there, that's just a shotgun, that's not the key item. That part of me just wants to just, just, you know, just screw this, just... I wish there was like a suicide button for the character, you know, screw this. It's like, oh, you want to make me solve another... Like, this game, like, sometimes Resident Evil games don't just slap you on the wrist, they smack you upside the head. You don't do it for really. Whatever the hell it is that they want you to do. I apologize, guys. I. I mean, practice up to the boss fight in the trash game, but I didn't practice this because I didn't think um, this game was going to be that strict on the timer and how, how long it takes to get on. It's 
amazing. I thought it was just the girls who put in the boxes, but apparently the guys can't either. Wait a minute. So there's a switch up there. I see the switch, and I want to press it, but, um... I've got to be kidding me. There's just no way. Okay, so let me get this straight. If you miss the train, you have to carry the two key items here. Wait, but there's a Climb down. Nope, nope, you can't. That's great. That's that's really good. I, I kind of just want to die. Honestly, it's it's like you don't fuck it, man. Screw it. Just let him die. Ah. 
I was doing so good too, so good, and the game just decided to give me the finger. It was it was such a clean run too. It's like if you don't make the train, you might as well just kill yourself. Just kill yourself dude, if you don't make the train. Just let yourself die. Well, now I know what my least favorite level in this game is. Now I know the subway is my least favorite level. Oh my god. That was so, so dumb. Oh my god. By the way, I already beat this with Alyssa, so it's not like I haven't beat this before. I'm just, I would just, yeah, I'm just like in shock. Yes. Yes. That the game is gonna punish you that much. The game is gonna punish you, literally punish you, just for not, just for making a tiny little mistake. Oh god. You know, at least in the other Resident Evils, you know, the game's pun- In the other Resident Evils, the game's punishment is death. That's the game giving you a middle finger. Oh. Oh, you weren't- Oh, you were in caution? Well... Well, I guess you're not being cautious enough because the hunter just cut your head off. Yeah, how do you like that? That's for not being cautious enough. You lose your head. In other games, I mean, you screw it up in Resident Evil, death was your punishment. That was your punishment. This is a. Oh, um, well, you're gonna have to do something else and then solve another. Oh my god, this this game this game just made a fool of me. I want my revenge on this game, seriously. This game made a fool of me right on the stream. You never, you, you, you never know what will happen, you know, when you play one of these games, you just never know. I mean, it just throws a new one at you. Do you guys have any, like, experience, like, uh, when you're playing, like, an uh, older Resident Evil game, and then you make, you make such a colossal screw-up, it's like, what? You know? And, they, and then the game made you pay dearly for it. Of course it's gonna run. Like any memories of that, of that guys? Were, the, were these games, were this game, were one of the Resident Evil games just basically like... They really made, made you take it up the ass. Of course it's gonna follow me. Oh yeah. Hey you. Hey Kevin, where are you, buddy? Let's go. You have the key I want.
Yeah, these games really make you pay. Yeah. Echo, that's uh... No, uh, like anyone in the chat, is there any other thing that um... Like when you play an R game, it's like, you're like, really? I usually lately, like in recent playthroughs over the past couple of years, I've only died at the yawn a few times. Um, so bathrooms don't need to go to the bathrooms. They don't really have anything I need. God, I thought she was a zombie. Actually, I'll take that. Hey, you. All right. No, wait. Never mind. I think I need to go to one of the bathrooms. One of the bathrooms has a file, and that has a password to a key that you need, so... Really? The Birkin Dog Box. That's that's not it. Beer. So far the passwords have been golf, free, and then beer. Play golf and get free beer. Like like how did you die on that? Wait, actually. Never mind, I know how you can die, basically. Basically, if you don't want your health, then he can kill you. I see how that happens. I can see that.
beer. A lot of my friends drink beer. They want beer. They always want to drink. I don't really care. I can drink beer. I just, I just choose not to. My friends drink beer for the wrong reasons. To escape, um, some of my friends, not all. Okay. Now, before I go through the door, I should probably unlock the door and grab the valve. No. Now that's a problem. Now I gotta go in there anyway. You know. You know how Resident Evil games can be, you know, if you, for, if for whatever reason, oh, you can't do that yet because you didn't go to that room and then look at that file. Or you didn't look at that. So we can't let you progress. So you do something completely arbitrary that's not really relevant to the story. Well, at least I know where the antivirus is, so... But yeah, anyone just join in and welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Got up to a bit of a rough start. We can do this because I want to show you guys the. I want to show you guys the forest and the hospital. I think that's a it's a pretty cool looking stage. It's tough. Now those blood infusion packs are good for the insects, but since you only have so much space, um, yeah, you have to ch just choose wisely what you're going to carry with you or what you're going to leave behind. Probably fix if this game were to be your master. They they gotta fix the, some of the camera movement. You know, eventually I want to beat this with all the beat all the scenarios with all the characters. I still haven't done that in the first outbreak. So in future streams, whenever I play outbreak, it's gonna be like uh, trying to beat it with another character. Don't do not turn that one that thing on yet. I'm 
mag will probably make the boss easier. But uh, if you have more than enough ammo, just use the handgun. On easy, you'll be fine. We're gonna do a kill, kill and dodge as you go. Don't dodge. Now I know what happens to you, uh... You just try to dodge one, you just end up having to fight three. If you're playing as another character, you have to find the vinyl tape. That's pretty easy to find it. Um, once you turn on the power, it's, it's in one of the rooms that's electronically locked. So. so Echo, Psycho Bunny, you guys got any plans for the rest of the weekend? Or, uh, It does have some nice, nice graphics. I'll give it that. I'm kind of getting used to the low times. I'm getting used to them now. No, the power is down. Crap. Forgot to turn the power.
Don't go in that room ever. Trap. So remember when I was playing the first outbreak, I was I was terrified that the game was gonna crash in between load scenes or even cutscenes. Hey, next year, how, how's it going? Welcome to my stream. I'm about halfway done with this scenario. So. If you know what to do, it's not a terribly long scenario. Unless you screw, unless you screw around after the boss fight there, it's like... Yeah, you're not dead. Because yeah, when the Resident Evil games, when you make a mistake, Resident Evil games don't just slap you on the wrist, they, they smack you upside the head. Nah, they're still alive. Nah, they're just running around. I actually practiced, uh, next year, I actually practiced, I actually practiced this last night, so I, so I did this scenario off stream, then I did the, what's it called? So I pretty much know what to do here. Um, Sure is a hot zombie. Uh, Alright, I'm not sure. I'll hope I can find a green herb somewhere. Nice one, zombie. Nice one. Sometimes it feels like a cheap shot, you know, you're just kind of standing there and the enemy's right in front of you. It's like, Sucker Punch! Herb right over there. Nope. I always like to keep myself on fine caution. I mean, on fine status. Yeah, a lot of people do. No, so obviously because file number one sold better.
I wonder, I wonder how this game is on very hard. God. Ah, of course I'm. Of course, it was sending to bleeding status. Of course, it was in that. Oh my god, game. Work on this game. I'm gonna kill him because I'm just gonna be hobbling around anymore. Although I think there's I think I I think I know what I have to do. I should have already done that. But I'm getting bright fires a little bit faster than strange. on the sprinkler system. Poison ones. Sprinklers go off, they usually do. Maybe because I forgot to use the, the 
know where's the valve. David. Got it. Yeah, everything I was supposed to. God. It's just, it's so damn fussy. I gotta kill these. Cause they're just gonna come to the door and waste my time. I just wanna use just wanna use the valve already. Over there, um, I'm sorry, guys, my eye is just very, I don't know what's going on. Must be allergies. must be kicking in right now. It's making uh, seeing the game a little bit more difficult because uh, if you're trying to play this on a smaller screen on your computer window, it's a kind of a pain in the butt. It's on the PS2. I'm playing this on the PS2 right now, so... There we go. That's what I, I forgot to do. Survival Horror, one of the fussiest genres you've never played. It's a fun genre, but it just... You know. Like, I'm 
trying to I'm trying to do the equivalent of like what sometimes a playing a Resident Evil game is. Uh, I mean, they're fun games and all this stuff. Just every once in a while, you you run into the thing where it's like the game says, "Oh, you ate, you forgot to do that, so you got to get all the way back." You know, just... or it's like you have to do it again. No, nope, no, nope, that wasn't the right way. Do it again. I'm trying to think what the equivalent of that is in real life. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I enjoy these games. Uh, just certain things about survival horror haven't aged well. So I think, um, I mean, I know it's one thing to like uh, make a game for a specific audience, but you don't want to alienate too many people, you know? Because if you like alienate too many people, that's um, that's potential customer base, you know? So this, this way, this way. You do not want to grab by, get grabbed by those blue bugs. It's not fun being poisoned in this game, right? Now we can progress, and now we can get to the final boss fight. God, I can't believe I forgot to turn on this, uh, the sprinklers. I think my teammates should still be alive. Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 30, so they, uh, they should both still be alive. I'm running around down there. But yeah, yeah. This is my least favorite map. I hate it. Is that all the subway? Everything looks the same. Of course, that thing was gonna hit me, right? Just don't make me bleed. Yeah, the subway is my least favorite map. I hate the subway. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, so what? Um, like I said, wild things I can handle. You know, wild things, um, memories of the past. No, wait. Flashback, flashback, and uh, desperate times. I mean, those, those I can handle. This is, this is gonna be pretty dead. This map can be pretty, pretty annoying. I should take a chemo set just in case. Really? It's gonna grab me? Well, it saves me the trouble of having to run over there. So I guess it's randomized. Um, that cutscene's randomized. It'll grab like any one of the characters. Okay, so. But yeah, immediately after beating this, I gotta run straight to the cell. Fast as I can.
You can beat it fine with the handgun. And you can tell you're hitting it just because it's twitching. Yeah. 